Good morning! So today we are gonna start off from Semenye all the way to uh, look that Sentul climb, Lekas Sentul climb, all the way to Lengeng climb, then Broga, then I think it's the what? Uh, Tikos climb, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called Tikos climb. Then go to Mantin, then back to Broga town. Uh, no, yeah, no. Something like that. But it's gonna be a 98km ride. I'm very excited today to test the. Da -da -da. Stock F3 Platinum. So this uh, this stock comes with a uh, Campag Nolo. I really don't know much about Campag Nolo, but I think it's the, the 80th anniversary super record or something like that. Full carbon. Never seen a Campag Nolo before. But the derailleur looks so fancy. Yo. This one is Barang Bangsawan, we saw that. Okay, disclaimer alert, uh, Robert, when Robert is using it, Robert's bike was a 6.8 kg bike, mainly because he had a Xantis wheel, and Xantis wheel is super stiff, super light, and all the good stuff. Um, so he swapped the Xantis wheels, and he, I did not get the Campagnolo uh, cassette because he's probably still using it. I'm using a, I think it's a 105 cassette, so the weight went up to 7.1. Uh, it's a easily 6.8 kg bike, so. Anyway. Tiket macam cipol ini itu budak naked baju. Ah uh, really eh, from far eh, like you're naked eh. Ini team bomba, team bomba. Team bomba. Ah, Selcom rider! Look even nicer eh. Wow, yeah, nice design, design actually look nice though. You can feel it lah, uh, it's not better. Light. Lighter. <laughs> oh you shit, I record a video. Hey, Selcom jersey stuck eh. <laughs> Design nice. Design nice. The designer pass. I say Selcom good lah. Ah, Maxus is also very nice. Green color, green, green white, green white. Hey, you should go and get one Maxus this year. Immediately off the right, uh, I can say, uh, 40 percent stiffer. <laughs> Easily, it could be because of the camber nolo also, uh, the camber nolo and the frame uh, all together. Uh. Frame, uh. You compare to the visioner uh, using the 105, uh, uh. that is a lot of difference. A lot of difference. Bye. Oh, I know here. Oh, 
Hey Jimmy, drop jaw. Jimmy, drop jaw. Okay. Uh, I dropped from the peloton as you can see. Because after pulling and following for about 38 km per hour and one of our buddies got dropped so again back to sweeper mode I'll slow down to see where he, where he is The first impression I have on the bike is definitely very comfortable Again, stock always get it stiff at the right place and get it comfortable at the right place So that's something that I like about stock As for the F3, if you ask me to really compare with the Visioner I will say, oh my goodness, 40% difference in terms of the ride quality and the stiffness. Easily 40%. Out, right out of the bat, even just by pedaling slowly around, I can feel that's a difference. As for the, uh, if I do compare with the FRs, aerodynamically, uh, I can't really tell the difference. According to the data is supposed to be 15% more aerodynamic but I can't really tell I suppose it is, it does feel like an FR to a certain extent but in terms of stiffness, oh my goodness I would say I had the FR Pro uh, this is probably 15% or 20% stiffer or 15 maybe 15% stiffer so it's not far out from the FR but overall I can see why this frame is 28,000 ringgit it's a good frame. Woo. Like I always say, uh, whenever you ride in a group, if you notice anyone drop, always stay back. Always ride in pair. You know, always ride in pair. Because you don't know what will happen. So, I can see Jimmy behind. Far, far away, but he's catching up. So, I'll just slow down and wait until you catch up and I'll just Stay with him. Okay. This is climb. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, brought Jimmy back and chase up Kahan and the other Jimmy. Ah, I'm pooped. Very fast, eh? 35 for that. So low, you won't sleep in front, eh? Naughty boy! Don't play on the road, naughty boy! Go Daniel, you can do it all the way up then. Saddle up. up.
Okay, I'm at uh, Joy's Cafe. At my kueh. Let's show you the food. Uh, here you come for the kueh lah. Kueh nasi lemak. Usual lah today. Today many people from cyclists to motorcyclists lah. So next we're gonna go Bukit Tikus and Mantin. Not wearing anything, right? Ah, naked rider. Just now, bong, but I'll add that to the Make way for bike. Make way. Very proud of Jimmy in the fact that he wants to follow us again. I think if he kept following us like that, I think Jimmy's fitness will be very fast back to normal already. Lah. Because today we're doing a climbing route. Just past uh, Mountain. It's a bit hectic this Mountain town. The roads, a lot of cars, but um, overall, I think it's still a nice road. Lah. Because after mountain, after mountain we turn to those kampung road ah, memang sedap lah. How oh, Jimmy? Hey, can fitness getting back? You can say so lah. Coming, awesome. coming on the way, on the way. Awesome way, eh? it's kahan. My seafood lah, this one. Okay, let's try this route. Lower your tire pressure. Gravel, gravel. So apparently uh, after Mountain Town there's this hidden track that's really peaceful and nice Quiet, no cars, lost shades, nice, decent tar road. Um, it's nice because central climb and all you attack, and then now you just have to now you can relax a bit. Oh, there's a climb in front. Oh. So overall, this route is quite nice. You should try. Oof, love it. Oh, 
got an epic route. Epic route to test an epic bike. You just have to trust me. Sometimes. Ha 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 Nice to slow down, cool down. Yeah lah. How come? How come he not happy? He's not happy lah. He was very concerned lah. Shit, gravel coming up. Shit, gravel coming up. Nice one, right? Ah, finally, my customers are satisfied. Sorry, I last week lah. I really. Ross, today weather nice. Ah, belakon lah semua ni Ah, bang, bang <laughs> Steady, steady Gravel. Ada juga gravel. Crack, 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 crack. Ada juga gravel. Okay, this road cannot use. Hundred meters, yeah. Let's take it. Ah, ah. See, everybody is so happy. Who damn comfortable? I want to test my stock, ma. Yeah. Who say no gravel? Huh? I say. Under one package, ah, one package. Happy, you are happy meal, yeah. This is a French fry. The motor there. You can look at the motor. Ah, he saw my bike. Wow, I need stop dancing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Motor like that. Super. Ah, like that. Like that. Angry at me. Okay, that part I really expected. I thought you all be tired. I'm sorry. Sure not. Serious. Hey, car, car, car. Hey, 
Okay, nice. I'm gonna drop at the last time. This I have. Wow, this is tough. So I think the hard way one, one is here, facing you. Ian chase something lah. Ian bong eh? Bong eh. The last climb I cannot drop already. I cannot chase you also. Chase something for gas. For gas, I'll hold the junction there. Ah, Michael want to wait, no hot. Wait, pal, I almost there already, man. Ah, good ride though. Oh, sih, kan ni eh. Overall good ride, except a short 300 meter of gravel unexpected. Okay lah, at least like I say lah, no no rain. No rain lah. It's a blessing. Ah, that's why. Okay, overall, overall the route was good. I just have to find a way to avoid that gravel us, and then I think it's quite okay. So uh, the, the 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 what you call that? Uh, the kampung with the plantation. Ah, uh, that one was good. Uh, ah, a bit relaxing, right? <laughs> good, good, good for the soul. Relax a bit. So I think overall the ride is okay. Just that I have to avoid that gravelly part. <laughs> that gravelly part. So if you like this route, I'll share the description below. Uh, with the gravelly part, you can't avoid it. If you like this kind of videos, you know, encourage me to do more. Like, share, subscribe, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe.
quick calculation, this bike is probably about 50,000 ringgit. Wow. Would I buy a 50,000 ringgit bike? Yes, if I had the money, but if you ask me, I think I don't create, I don't pump out enough voltage to even bend the frame. I think a 30,000 ringgit bike is good enough for the most of us, seriously. And if you want to give in car comparison, I would say driving a Visioner, I mean the Visioner is comfortable, but it's not as stiff. Uh, it's a bit not as comfortable as the Platinum. I'll say the Visioner is probably a, a Honda Accord, still comfortable. And if I go to a Pro, like the FS Pro, it's like a BMW, but oh my goodness, the F3 Platinum is like a Rolls Royce. Enough power, good handling, Boy, it's comfortable. I, I've never, I mean, I can't compare it with other bikes like S-Work and the Rasgas have never had a chance to try it. But if I would compare with what I know, like the titanium frame and the Cipollini Bond, I would say the Platinum has a reason why it's very expensive. Would I buy it? <laughs> no, because I can't afford it. But if I had the money, why not, right? No, I heard they're going to come up with the F3 disc. In terms of aerodynamic, is as good as the air fast it's just i feel climbing is easier than the air fast though air fast is good at climbing okay that's my take on the platinum uh beautiful bike uh, i was riding across i think when we were, i was at joyce cafe people was looking at it and when i was going through the gravel the guy next the guy i asked for direction he said oh chantik scott uh stock so i think he can recognize the stock bike which is nice okay see you next week and ride safe and i hope you try this route it's amazing Take care, stay safe and God bless.